Hi guys, and welcome back to Caterpillar Cross Stitch. So in this week's video, I thought I would take you behind the scenes of the team here at Caterpillar Cross Stitch HQ in Warwickshire, UK. I thought it would be fun to ask the team some off the cuff questions so that all of our amazing community can get to know the people behind the brand. So here goes. The team don't necessarily know that this is happening, so it'll be very um, impromptu and very relaxed and genuine reactions, hopefully. So here goes. Hi, I'm Tim Wilson and I'm the Operations Director here at Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Okay, so my question is, where would you like to see the company in five years time? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like it to continue to grow as it has been over the last few years. So I'd like us to be ultimately the name that everyone thinks of when they think of cross stitch. I'd like us to continue to have the best subscription boxes. I'd like us to have the best advent calendar on the market. <laughs> we are excited about the one we're doing this year. Um, and really just to try to think of innovative ways to um, continue to improve the offering that we give to all our customers and the community of cross stitches. Nice. What's your favourite sport to watch and what's your favourite sport to play and why? Um, so I love, I love sport in general. Uh, so I love to watch a lot of sport and I love to play a lot of sport. Uh, I'd probably say football to watch. Uh, that's the thing I've always grown up with. I'm a big Man United fan. Uh, and it's just uh, yeah, probably one of the best sports to get together with mates and uh, enjoy a game. Uh, to play, definitely rugby, um, while I still can. <laughs> <laughs> still trying, sadly playing vets rugby now. Uh, but yeah, it's a uh, yeah, great game. Cool. And my question is, what's it like working with your wife? <laughs> I thought this question might be coming. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, really good. Uh, I know Sally got asked this question yesterday about what it's like to work with me and the same, everyone was like, oh no, I could never work with my wife or my husband. Uh, but so far, all good, enjoyed it. Uh, we're still working out the best way to work together in the office, not talk about work at home. Um, but it's helped a lot at home actually, it gives us a lot more flexibility with the family, with the kids. Uh, it's been nice for me to join the company, something completely different from what I was doing previously. Um, and it's great to work with a great team as well. Hi, I'm Sophie and I'm a production assistant. Okay, so my question is, um, well it's kind of a two-parter. Okay. Where is the best place you've ever been in the whole world and where would you love to go in the world that you've never been to before and why? Okay, that's a good <laughs> question. Um, so the best place I've been to um, was the Maldives. I went for my honeymoon. Nice. So that was Beautiful, it was lovely. And then, oh gosh, where would I like to go? Oh, there's so many places. Um, oh God, um, let me think, let me think. Um, Bali, I'd love to go to Bali. I'd just love to see all the, all the different sites there. And also I'd like to go to, um, oh my gosh. That's when you put on the spot, you didn't know. Um, let me think, what, um, I'd like to go to Australia, but I don't know if I could do the flight, because it's a yeah. really, really long flight. Um, so yeah, I've got a few places in my bucket list I'd like to go to. Would you describe yourself as a crafty person? And if so, what do you like to do to get creative? Yeah, so I've always loved doing crafts, um, and always kind of liked to make things out of, and like odd bits of things um but yeah at the moment i love to create things with artificial flowers um and dried flowers um so i like doing wreaths and um hoops um yeah i just find it very therapeutic to to get crafting what would you say is your greatest accomplishment oh um i'd have to say my greatest accomplishment accomplishment is having my children so i've got two daughters um, six and seven. Hi everyone, I'm Molly and I am the creative assistant at Caterpillar Cross Stitch. How many times have you seen Harry Styles 
And which was the best song he sang live? Okay, I have seen Harry Styles probably 50 plus times live. Um, my favourite time ever was at Wembley Stadium last year and he sang Sign of the Times and it was raining and it was just incredible. It was my favourite. <laughs> which artist would you love to see Harry Styles collaborate with? Oh, that's a really good question. Taylor Swift. <laughs> I would love a Harry and Taylor Swift collab because they are my two favourites. It would be incredible. <laughs> okay, my question is, which famous person or celebrity, dead or alive, mm -hmm. would you most like, like to have dinner with and why? Oh, have dinner with. Or, you know, evening questions. I think the person I would most like to have dinner with would probably be Freddie Mercury. I just think he's a really cool, interesting person and he loves cats. I love oh. cats, <laughs> so we could bond over that. Nice. <laughs> what got you into cross -stitch? Um, So I've always been kind of crafty, I guess, into arts and crafts from quite a young age. Um, I remember doing cross stitch, I think, when I was about eight, eight or nine. I think I did some stuff at school. And then I did stuff with my mum and Nan, I guess as a teenager or a child. Um, so I've always done it on and off. I've always done loads of like sewing and I always like making my own clothes and stuff like that. Um, I've tried most things, but then I remember cross stitching some stockings. Well, it was actually really small bits and bobs to go onto stockings, not a whole stocking, um, about 15 years ago. And then it was when we had our first child that my mum said, that she would do a baby birth sampler. And she was like, get a full kit, you know, don't want any messing around with all the bits and bobs, just get the whole thing. And um, and it still never happened to this day. And she's now nine because I couldn't find anything I liked. And her nursery was sort of pale gray, white, like an aqua color and nothing really went. So I decided to do it myself. And then the first collection was the birth samplers. But yeah, pretty young age. I would say eight, I think. So yeah. <laughs> so what's it like working with your husband? Ah, that's a good question. Um, so yeah, so Tim, my husband, joined in August of last year, if anyone doesn't know. Um, he quit his job after 11 years. We've never worked together before. And lots of our, I think our family was kind of subtle about what they were saying, but a lot of our friends were like, don't do it, don't work together. They were saying things like, oh, if it, that was me and you know, I'd never be able to do that. This is a huge mistake. Um, and I think the first couple of months were tricky just because it's so different working together than it is at home or parenting or you know, whatever you might be doing. It's a really different environment and I've had to kind of adapt, he's adapted, but I think it's been six months now and um, I'm really enjoying it actually. It's really gives us a lot of flexibility with the kids. Um, yeah, I think it's just lovely kind of spending more time together, but just sort of being in the same environment because I think years ago it would feel like we'd be apart all day and then might get back at sort of 7 p.m. and then you just like ships that pass in the night and never really talk about your day. So we do have to be quite strict about not talking about work at home I'm often saying only between nine and five, um, but it's really lovely being together and feeling like we're working together towards a common goal. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> we'll have to ask him the same question. <laughs> what would be your best tip for a complete beginner for cross <gasps> Best tip for a beginner? Um, I don't know, I've got quite a few. I would say one, definitely don't be too hard on yourself because I think everyone looks at it and thinks it's intimidating and really complicated, then gives it a go and will inevitably make a mistake. I still make mistakes when I'm stitching now. Um, I did something the other week and just completely missed out a stitch. Um, so I would say if someone's making mistakes, as in if they go off the pattern slightly or if they're like one or two rows out, it doesn't actually matter. As a cross-stitch designer, most of the time, I wouldn't be able to tell and it doesn't really alter the design itself. It's not gonna make a difference. Um, so happy accidents, perfectly imperfect, no such thing as errors, um, and just take your time. I think a lot of people see people that have been stitching for 20 years and think, oh, that's so neat, or it's a really neat back. The back doesn't matter. My bags are really messy. Um, so yeah, don't compare your work to someone else's and just enjoy it and take it at your own pace. And I think if you're having a good time 
and relaxing. That's all it's about. And I suppose progressing and learning new tips on a weekly basis, that's sort of progress in itself. It doesn't need to be perfect straight away. I'm Maria and I'm customer service lead. What are you most looking forward to in 2023? Oh, lots of holidays, um, lots of new kits that we're going to release, um, lots of exciting, um, oh, I don't know, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> what, was, what was the question? What am I most looking forward to? A, yeah, time out. I can't say that for kids, can I? Um, oh yeah, I don't know. Can you ask another one? <laughs> I can only go by month on month. Okay, my question is, which actress would play you in a film of your life? Oh, good question. Um, maybe a Drew Barrymore, maybe. Um, yeah, I'd say Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> She's quite a versatile actress. <laughs> uh, what's your favourite band or artist? And then what's the favourite band or artist you've seen live? Okay, favourite band is Fleetwood Mac. Um, loved them since I was a child. Um, Love the Chain, that's my favourite song from them. Uh, favourite band I've seen live? I have to be Oasis, actually. It was a really good gig. It was one of their last at Wembley. That was a long time ago, um, but it was a really good, memorable night. <laughs> I can do that one. <laughs> You're coming round to my house for dinner. Yeah. Give me the starter, main, pudding and drink of choice. Okay, let's start with the drink. So it'd be a gin and tonic. Um, starter, can and bear. Yeah. Do you like a bit of can and bear? Main, um, roast lamb. And then pudding, it'd have to be a chocolate brownie. Mm. So if you can do all that, I'll be around yeah, at seven. You can, you can come yeah. whenever. Yeah. <laughs> Are we live? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're still on. Hi, I'm Sam and I'm a production assistant at Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Okay, so my first question is, have you ever met any celebrities and or second part which celebrity have you not met but you would love to meet oh good question uh, i have been lucky enough to meet lots of celebrities um i guess the favorite person i've ever met is bless him sir terry wogan um and who i would love to meet and definitely have around my dinner table um, would be stephen fry nice what are your hobbies <laughs> I knew it was going to be tennis related. <laughs> uh, well, my hobbies are, I have lots of hobbies. Uh, I like to play tennis. Um, I like to spend time with my daughter doing fun arts and crafts, bits and bobs. Um, being outdoors in the fresh air and definitely going on holiday. Uh, what are your top three favourite films? Oh my gosh, my top three favourite films. Well, being a mum to a very energetic child, I don't really get a lot of time to watch films. Um, that, but I suppose more recently, um, Moana, definitely a favourite. I've recently watched a film called um, Glass Onion on Netflix, which is fantastic. Although Daniel Craig's voice is a little bit weird. Um, and I guess um, Toy Story has always been a favourite, I think, and it always will be. Uh, hello, I'm Brianna and I'm a fulfilment and production assistant. I just think that's a worthy question. <laughs> uh, I know you like to walk, but mm -hmm. where's the best place or the best walk you've ever done? Um, I'd probably say the Lake District. Um, I think there's so many different walks in the Lake District to do. Uh, I have actually only been there once um, and we did Coniston Old Man. I think that's a really good walk. Um, quite hard, but very good. <laughs> and the views are just amazing. So yeah, it's one I'd recommend. <laughs> so my question is, what's your favourite TV show at the moment? Uh, at the moment will probably be Handmaid's Tale. 
um, I think it's just so gripping and you're just excited to find out what's next and you just end up binge watching the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aside from necessities, what one thing could you not go a single day without? Um, oh, <laughs> that's a hard one. Um, at the moment, I'd probably say my crochet hook <laughs> because nice. I'm really into crochet at the moment. So, what are you making right now? Uh, so right now I'm doing like a mini turtle. So, oh, cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <love> yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Daniel and I'm a production assistant. Okay, so my question is, who is your hero in the world and why? Oh, my hero? Oh, I'd have to go for Brennan Johnson, um, Nottingham Forest football player. <laughs> I was like, I don't know who that is. Yeah. Uh, and why is he so cool? Because he just wins us games. He wins us, <laughs> that's he about it. Wins. Yeah. Wins okay. us, uh, scores the goals. Cool. Um, what's your favourite holiday and why? Oh, um... I think it was when I went to California with my family. Um, I just really liked it. <laughs> I just, I just liked it. It was just interesting. Very different place to here. Cool. cool. <laughs> what football team do you support oh, and why? Uh, Nottingham Forest, because um, uh, my dad supported them. And I just followed him. Yeah. What's, what's your favourite player in your uh, team? <laughs> Brennan Johnson. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you've got any questions at all for any particular members of the team, then please do leave them down below in the comments. If you'd like to see more informal videos like this and more behind the scenes content, then please request that too down below. Please subscribe to the channel. As always, if you love all things cross-stitch, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy the video and I will see you next time. Bye.